Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, we will be covering all the latest and the greatest updates. So the first one is that Misaka Tweak Manager has been updated to also support your M1 and M2 devices that will work with KFT and MDC supported iOS version. And using that, you will be able to install Troll Store 2 on M1 and M2 now also. So I'm at the official GitHub page for Misaka. Misaka is completely free. And if you scroll down, we have the latest release here. Now from here, I will hit releases to show you that when the second last version of Misaka at the time of making this video, version 3.3.1, we have the compatibility with M1 and M2 devices also. So you can simply use any version above 3.3.1 to install Troll Store 2 or use Misako on your M1 and M2 devices. Now in the assets, you can see that now we have two separate files for non M1, M2 devices and your M1 and M2 devices. So for all your non M1, M2, you can use this IPA file. And for all your M1 and M2 devices, you can use this one. So you can simply get the IPA from here, which is appropriate to your device's chipset. And then you can use side loadly, which is completely free to install Misaka onto your device. Just like the way I opened the side loadly connected to my device, and installed Misaka onto my device. To install Troll Store on your M1 and M2 devices now also, you can simply install tips. If you don't have it, if you have it, delete it and reinstall it from the App Store. Then open Misaka after trusting it from the device management. Then simply go to packages and from here simply click this button and then from here you can install troll store by hitting tips ok and then go back and if the tips app is crashing you can simply restart your device if not you can simply open it and make sure wi-fi is connected and hit install troll store also this build fixes your problem of error one which you may be getting on your mdc devices so yes you can see it installed perfectly and now LDID is being installed and there you go the next big update is that developers managed to inject tweaks into unmodified app store apps without a jailbreak using the core trust 2 bug which is in use by the troll store 2 and no it will not work with injecting tweaks into the springboard which only a jailbreak a proper jailbreak can also developers managed to run the Celio package manager without a proper jailbreak using this method also as you can see the new Picasso version 3 will be up soon which will support this and allow app tweak injection all without a jailbreak we have another screenshot here in which you can see that the developers managed to install Alicate which is only possible with a proper jailbreak, a rootless jailbreak. But again, there is no springboard tweak injection because we have PPL. Furthermore, you can see here that they got Substrate to work also on an iPhone 14 Pro Max running iOS 16.5. But again, there is no springboard injection because again, we don't have a PPL bypass. And also you can see another screenshot from a well-known developer who got Celio working on iOS 16.6 on an iPhone 12 mini. So it is an iPhone 13,1. And lastly, we have another screenshot where you can see the ZSH is fixed and a terminal is running with the new fetch command and you can see it is running on an iphone 14. let's see when or if this method is released and what are the further possibilities that's all for this update i will see you in a new video goodbye and 
take care of yourself.